Hello, Paolo. Can you hear me? Kind of. Are, are you ready for the interview? Sure. Yeah. Uh, all right. Cool, man. Well, Paolo, it's good to have you on Metal Assault. Uh, so first of all, um, I'm really digging the new album, Machine Messiah, man. So congratulations to you guys for coming out with a great album. And um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank and, you very much. Yeah, man. And I, I spoke to Andreas about this when the album came out, and he's really proud of it. What are your thoughts on the album, especially now that it's been out and fans have listened to it and all that stuff, you know? Well, I think it's a, you know, it's a very unique record, especially for, you know, for everybody's really happy with the final results, you know, and, uh, and I think we achieve and conquer uh, the that what we thought uh, on the since the beginning of uh, of the writing process. Uh, I think everybody's very pleased, and uh, a lot of people uh, at, at the first listen to it was felt a little bit weird about, but it's, it's something that the after you listen a couple of times the record it, it kinds of grow into you. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that, man. So, you know, I mean Sepultura is always um very well known for its classic material and a lot of those albums have stood the test of time, but uh, you have always kept on making new great new albums as well and this is another one of them. So, it's like uh, your recent material is is something that you're you must be proud of as well. Uh, equally proud of. Oh. Definitely, you know, I'm very proud of the this new stuff. We we already have uh, done the, the first leg of the Machine Messiah in Europe, and uh, and uh, we had a chance to have one hour set uh, with Creator, and on this in this one hour set, we've been playing like five new songs out of the album. So, and uh, this coming up into the Testament, we we only gonna have 15 minutes, so. I'm I'm pretty sure that we're gonna be doing the 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 five new songs. Of, I hope, and plus we're gonna be trying some different ones as well. Cause we're gonna after that when on the simple to the headline shows, we're gonna add more 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 of the new songs. You know, until we able to to do the basically the whole record. So looking forward to that. It's a it's a new challenge for us. It's it's gonna be good. Right, that's awesome to hear, man. And obviously, you've been in this band the longest, like out of the four members. Where would you put this album compared to like the rest of the um, the band's history? You know, all the other albums. Uh, you know, it's very to me. This is, I think, is the best uh, sounding record. I think, you know, the the past uh, few years, past uh, you know, we definitely with Derek we achieved. Uh, this is the best record so far with Derek's. Uh, uh, generation, uh, I think we achieved like sound wise, uh, uh, composing wise. I think uh, everything really fits and uh, completes each song completes each other, and uh, I think made a, a very, a very unique record. I, I really, I'm really enjoying, you know, to to play the songs live and and really enjoy still listen to the record, you know, because. It, it sometimes it's uh, a lot of the artists get tired of listening to the to the uh, to their own records, but this one is still still very fresh and uh, and we still have a long uh, uh, a long ways for touring wise. You know, this is the the first going to be the first leg of the American tour. Like I said, we're not going to have we only going to have 50 minutes. I hope that. Uh, we can come back to the United States and do the full set, you know, like we're going to be doing uh, everywhere else around the world. Right. And uh, talking of the tour coming up with Testament, uh, I was talking to Chuck Billy and he said that uh, Testament and Temple Tour have never really done a U.S. tour together. So, uh, but I'm sure you have seen those guys around in the past. So what's been your experiences with those guys and what kind of relationship do you have with them, you know? Cool. Uh, they're very nice guys, you know. Especially Chuck, we have the a little bit more. Uh, we're closer to him, you know. But it, I've been closer. Uh, we I have the chance to to we have the chance to tour with uh, Steve uh, back in the days with Sadus, you know. And uh, really looking forward to do this. You know, it's going to be awesome. We never really had the never toured any 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 anywhere with Testament. We play festivals, you know. We see each other on tour. And uh, really looking forward. We have a long tour in the, in the U.S. and uh, along with Prong that we already 
done a tour with them in '94 with Pantera. So I think uh, everybody's looking for it. I think it's going to be a, a very strong bill, you know. And I'm looking forward to 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 play in a lot of uh, states in the United States. It's good, you know, to to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's a pretty extensive tour. I mean, it's it's going to be running for six or seven weeks. So how do you prepare for a long tour like this? You know, um, especially as a as a support act. You know? Uh, we just pray to not get sick on tour. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's it's the main sad. thing. It, it's something that we've been done for years, and and, and uh, it's just uh, everybody's very well uh, know what really it is about touring. So we we we're very prepared. We we've, we've been doing this thing for touring for since 1989. So we each one of us we know the how you can handle your body, you know, what's the procedures that it needs to do to, to, to really be able to, to perform and to be able to, to handle these long tours. Right, right, exactly, man. And um, in terms of the newer material that you've been playing, you said that you, you played five songs of the album on the Europe tour. Which ones uh, were your favorites, have been your favorites so far from the new album, you know? Uh... I don't know. It's very hard to pick one, you know? <laughs> but I like them all. I think right now I'm being uh, enjoying the most uh, resistance parasites. But uh, you know, it's very hard to say because I like them all. You know, it's, uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to 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 play the other songs too, to try out live to see how they they they'll come out. So. Um, Right, exactly, man. And um, after this tour, like, what what do you guys have planned? I mean, you said that you're you might be hope you're hoping to do a headline run in the states as well at some point, right? Yes. Uh, or we after the six weeks, and uh, we're coming back to Brazil for for about uh, nine days. We have uh, the launch of uh, the Simple Tour documentary, and we have uh, three shows. Here in uh, Sao Paulo states, and then we head back to Europe for the for the summer festivals, and then we have uh, they they still putting up together some more stuff for towards the end in Europe, South America. Uh, we've been talking Asia too as well, and uh, so it's going to be a very full year. You know they they've been working on dates right now and 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 see what we can uh, put together. You know. And uh, make sure that uh, we have the uh, a pretty busy year. Yeah, yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> and um, you mentioned earlier that you you think this is the best album that you've done with Derek Green. So talking of his performance, I mean, obviously when he came into the band, it was a big task that he had. So how do you feel that he has he has handled it over the years? And you know, how does it compare now having him in the band compared to when he joined? You know. Uh, you know, of course, everybody knows that it was, you know, a hard task, task for him to do it. But uh, he was very confident. You know, he's a very talented guy. He's, uh, he knows, you know, he's capable of uh, using his voice, you know. And, uh, and of course, the, the development uh, as a musician, as a band member, oh, take, takes takes years, you know, to 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 get the experience to play together, you know, that takes you a long uh, um, stage time, you know, to get really be comfortable and to really get loose to to experiment and to create, you know. At the beginning, he was, I, I think he was more, you know, we everybody I think was feeling like, you know, we have to prove that we can do this. And now, nowadays, if, you know, there's a, uh, uh, we don't have to prove anything else. I, uh, on my opinion, you know, the record speaks for itself. You know, and uh, I think we achieved in a totally different level. Everybody's very comfortable to with each other to uh, on stage, on studio. So it's a very different. We think four of us, we think in the same way. You know, we know each other better, stage wise, person. Uh, in a personal level as well, so that really helps. And it's it's only time, you know. He's been in the band for 20 years, so and uh, it's just time. 
Yeah, yeah. And so would you say that the band has also kind of adjusted to his style as well and you write songs that fit his vocals instead of always being the other way around, you know? Well, yeah, we experiment a lot of things to this band that never really been scared to try out new, new things, you know? And Derek has uh, not only uh, the the potential and the range of his vocals, you know, he, he really can sing, you know. He's a, he's a black man for America, so he can sing. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, exactly, man. And I... uh, not, all, not all, you know, they, it is, it, we, you know, I think... Uh, we really uh, handled in a very uh, positive way how to to use uh, his voice, you know, to really accomplish something different and something uh, that really still really represents the band. But like I said before, we in bring it to the next level, and I think we really accomplished that on this record. Yeah, exactly, man. And I think um, I'll, I'll really recommend people to check out, or check you guys out on this next tour, and I'm looking forward to it. I think that's pretty much all I had for this interview, Paolo. It was uh, good talking to you. I'm, uh, I'm glad we got it done over a um, rough connection, but um, yeah, well, we'll see you on the tour, man. We'll see you in Anaheim. Okay, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. Take care. So that was Paolo Jr. from Sepultura with uh, his interview talking about the upcoming tour with Testament. Definitely catch them if you're living in North America. That'll be a great...